Does this scene look familiar? Every time you get in your car to leave the house, it's cold, gray, and snowy. Well, let's get back inside and get into the kitchen and get cooking. Now, baked pasta dishes are easy to make, but that doesn't mean they won't benefit from a few tricks along the way. So what we're going to do is start out with our large baking dish here, 13 by 9 by 2 inches. And we drizzle in a little olive oil at the bottom. Then, instead of going right to the pasta, first we're going to put down some sauce. So what I have here is some homemade meat sauce. And I'm going to put a pretty good amount here in the bottom of my dish. Now, what makes baked pasta dishes so great? All the cheese, of course. So I'm going to take about eight ounces of ricotta cheese and mix that right in to the sauce here. What you're doing is creating a consistent mix and that's what you want. Incorporated. Now what we're going to do is get our pasta. Okay, freshly cooked and just a little bit underdone because the baking process is going to finish it off. this served around, incorporating all the sauce and the cheese. Then we're going to add some more sauce. Get the rest of this mixed in. Now what you'll have is a very consistent mix all the way through. So every bite, pasta, and some of the meat sauce, and some of the ricotta cheese. Okay. Now I'm going to take a little bit extra cheese here. Just to kind of dot the top. Just for a little bit of extra smooth texture. But the remainder of the dish will be all nice and consistent. Okay, now we're just going to top this with a few more things. A little bit of shredded parmesan. And a good healthy layer of some mozzarella. Now you want to be sure to buy uh, mozzarella cheese that has at least some fat in it. No fat cheese oftentimes won't melt nicely and sometimes it just won't melt at all. So treat yourself sometimes. Add the fat. healthy layer here on top. Make a nice cheesy crust. Okay, now <clears throat> we are going to bake this covered for 30 minutes at 350, then uncovered for another 15 minutes until everything is nice and cheesy and bubbly. So we're going to pop it in the oven and then we'll take a look. Okay, so we're back. We've spent our total 45 minutes of cooking time in the oven. 30 uncovered, 15 uncovered, and now we have the masterpiece. All bubbly and delicious. That's it. Very easy to do. Only a few extra steps for an absolutely delicious baked pasta dish.